Welcome to my channel RX Sam 2020. Today we discuss a drug named teriparatide injection. About teriparatide is identical to a portion of human parathyroid hormone and intermittent use activates osteoblasts more than osteoclasts, which leads to an overall increase in bone. This medication is not recommended for use in children or young adults whose bones are still growing. Teriparatide should only be used for a period of 2 years maximum. After 2 years, another agent such as bisphosphonate or denosumab should be used in cases of osteoporosis. However, Repeat administration has been used in hypophosphatasia, deficiency of alkaline phosphatase, where bisphosphonates are contraindicated. Medical use Treatment of postmenopausal women with osteoporosis at high risk for fracture. Increase of bone mass in men with primary or hypogondal osteoporosis at high risk for fracture. Ducorticoid include osteoporosis at high risk for fracture. Off-label to speed fracture repair and treat fracture non-unions. Osteoporosis Osteoporosis causes bones to become weak and brittle so brittle that a fall or even mild stresses such as bending over or cuffing can cause a fracture. Osteoporosis-related fractures most commonly occur in the hip, wrist, or spine. Bone is a living tissue that is constantly being broken down and replaced. Osteoporosis occurs when the creation of new bone doesn't keep up with the loss of old bone. Osteoblasts Osteoblasts are cells with a single nucleus that synthesize bone. However, in the process of bone formation, osteoblasts function in groups of connected cells. Individual cells cannot make bone. A group of organized osteoblasts together with the bone made by a unit of cells is usually called the osteon. Osteoclast An osteoclast is a type of bone cell that breaks down bone tissue. This function is critical in the maintenance repair, and remodeling of bones of the vertebral skeleton. Nonunion Nonunion is a permanent failure of healing following a broken bone unless intervention, such as surgery, is performed. A fracture with nonunion generally forms a structural resemblance to a fibrous joint and is therefore often called a false joint or pseudorthrosis. Dosage Adult 20 micrograms subcutaneous once daily into the thigh or abdominal wall. Storage Store between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Do not freeze. Protect from light. Once opened, store between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for a maximum of 28 days. Contraindications Hypersensitivity Skeletal malignancies or bone metastases Severe renal impairment Pre-existing hypercalcemia Higher than normal levels of calcium Other metabolic bone diseases For example, Pagate's disease Hyperparathyroidism Unexplained elevations of alkaline Phosphatase Previous implant or external beam radiation therapy to the skeleton. Hereditary disorders predisposing to osteosarcoma or simply bone cancer. Patients should not start teriparatide until any vitamin D deficiency is corrected. Special precautions. Pediatrics safety not established. Pregnancy category C. Use if the risk to fetus outweighs benefits. Lactation, discontinue breastfeeding. Elderly, use with caution. Drug interactions. 
कैंसिपोट्रीन टॉपिकल कैंसिट्रियल टॉपिकल डिजिटॉक्सिन डायगोक्सिन फ्यूरोसेमाइड हाइड्रोक्लोरेथाइजाइड साइड इफेक्ट्स आर्थ्रलजिया लिटरली मीन्स जॉइंट पेन हेड एक नोसिया ट्रांसियंट ऑर्थोस्टेटिक हाइपोटेंशन इज अ ड्रॉप इन ब्लड प्रेशर दैट अकर्स व्हेन मूविंग फ्रॉम अ लेइंग डाउन सुपाइन पोजीशन टू अ स्टैंडिंग अपराइट पोजीशन टेरिपेरिटाइड हैज अ थियोरेटिकल रिस्क ऑफ ऑस्टियोसार्कोमा और सिंपली बोन कैंसर which was found in rat studies but not confirmed in humans hypercalcemia higher than normal levels of calcium hyperuricemia high level of uric acid in the blood injection site reactions limb pain avoid while taking in or after teriparitide alcohol is unlikely to interact with teriparitide or parathyroid hormone however heavy drinking is a risk factor for osteoporosis and for having fallen so it's recommended that you drink alcohol only in moderation brand names that are mostly prescribed by doctors bonmax fortio terios bonista combinations teriparitide 40 mg plus denosumab increases spine and hip bone mineral density bmd more than standard combination therapy this large and rapid increase in bone mass suggests that this high dose regimen might provide a method of restoring skeletal integrity in patients with osteoporosis teriparitide plus bisphosphonates because teriparitide parathyroid hormone pth stimulates bone formation and bisphosphonates reduce bone resorption it has been hypothesized that combining the two therapies would increase bone density more than either therapy alone mechanism of action to exert its catabolic effects parathyroid hormone acts on the same receptors in osteoblasts and osteocytes increasing the expression of proosteoclastogenic cytokines like receptor activator of nuclear factor kappa b ligand RANKL and macrophage colony stimulating factor thanks for watching please subscribe and like this video